Hi guys. Uh, so today we will talk about Java reflection. So let's quickly see the code example so you can understand the concept. So here I have one class company and inside this I have private string name and I have public constructor which will set the name of the company and I have public getter method which will return the name of the company and then I have private method display name which will display the name of this company. So now in the main method what I am doing is I am creating an instance of the company right and I am passing the name as YouTube and I'm just printing out the company name. So if I will run this program, you will see the company name is getting printed. So now our requirement is I want to change the name from YouTube to YTube and I also want to invoke the private method display name. So that means I have to change the value of this private field and I also want to invoke this private method. So this can be done by using the Java reflection concept so what i will do i will simply say company dot class dot will use get declared field and i will pass the name of that field and this method will return us field so i will assign the name field okay so this line will give us the name field even if it is private so now we want to change the value of this field right so what i will do name field dot set first i will pass the object the object is this company object so i will pass this and our value is the new value which is y2 okay and now one important line you always have to remember because by default this field is not accessible so we have to add one additional line set accessible and we have to make it as true without this line it will always throw you an exception and now i will print the name company dot get name okay so now if i will run this method so you will see our company name have been changed from youtube to ytube and if i will remove this line set accessible true and now if i will run you will see we are getting the error that it can't be accessed okay so you always have to remember this line set accessible is equal to true so now our next requirement is i want to invoke the private method so same way I will do company dot class and you can use get declared method for invoking the method and I will pass the method name here display name. Okay. And this method will return as method. So I will just say object method. So now what I will do, I will just use invoke method and then I will pass this object company right in this case also i have to write that set accessible true so now if i will run this class so you will see first our company name was youtube then we change the name of youtube to ytube using get declared field method and then what we did we use get declared method of this class and then we used invoke and when it got invoked so this line private method invoke is coming from this private method display name. And you can also explore other methods of this class. It all depends on your use case, but this is the basic concept of reflection. So reflection is very powerful tool and it is often used in frameworks like Spring or Hibernate for uh, serialization, deserialization, and also in the testing scenarios. But you really have to be careful because it comes with a lot of performance overhead. So it totally depends on your scenario, whether it's a good fit to use reflection in your use case or not. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon for more programming content.